everybody and welcome to another video report by thepilotreport.com. I'm your host Len Costa. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the AirNav FBO um, iPhone application. So uh, the application is primarily for doing a fuel search but it does have some functions as an airport directory. So what you see here is we're, we're looking at the main page of the application is that uh, you can search for fuel prices by airport. So if we put in the airport, let's go ahead and put in Nashville and uh, select a range of, uh, well the range, your range options are 10, 25, and 50. So we'll select, uh, let's go with 25. All prices regardless of age, that's not true. Let's pick one that is, uh, I want the last 60 days. We're gonna do 100 low lead and I want a minimum runway of 4,000 feet. Go ahead and click fuel, uh, find fuel. And now you'll see that uh, what we have here is a display of the airports in and around the Nashville area with their fuel prices. So it's showing us right here, the signature flight support has a, uh, a price for low lead of $7.70 per gallon. And the, uh, the guaranteed shows us that, um, you know, that that price is valid as of today. So some of the options looking at this screen, if actually you click the, the little I, what it will do is it will bring up an airport directory. And the airport directory is very basic. Uh, you, know, you can click on the, um, the runway diagram and it will pull that up and give you a quick idea. You can also get information like the latitude and longitude and the elevation traffic pattern. You can also see the information about the, uh, the FBO on the field, some other contact information, and whether or not they have a website and what the location is. You can leave a comment by clicking down here for the comment button and uh, or you could also update in the bottom right hand corner update the fuel price. Let's see other information of the shows you the other FBOs runway information I don't let's see you can't click on those. The um, airport operations what type of it is uh, if it's open to the public uh, if it has airport um, rescue and firefighting equipment and those kinds of things. If you click on the bottom tabs for FBO, runway, and info, basically what you see is that just the application just automatically pans to that, that portion of the screen. If it's a, a place that you're going to frequent, you can hit the star in the top and add it to your favorite list. So we've added uh, Nashville to the favorite list. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the fuel page, and we can also see the other airports in the area. Look at this one, um, 10 nautical miles southeast of Nashville. Fuel is $5.72 a gallon. In my book, it's worth going out of your way 10 miles in order to save uh, almost $2 a gallon. It's, to, it's $1.98 per gallon that you'd be saving. So that is by far definitely worth it. Uh, you're looking down farther again, it's just the other airports that are within that designated distance from Nashville. If you want to save this search, just like we saved a favorite, you can save the search by clicking the Save button. So we'll go ahead and go back, and uh, you can see at the bottom that the stored fuel prices, that's the one that we saved. Now, the second option for searching is searching by nearby. Now, what it's going to do is it's, it, it's going to use your uh, GPS location, and it's going to find out where you are, and it's going to look up and tell you the airports in the area. So the one that happens to be closest to me right now is Leesburg Executive Airport. Uh, the same fuel display is the one we were just looking at. This just happens to use the onboard GPS chip in your um, iPad or iPhone. So the third option for searching is searching along your route. So we're going to go um, <clears throat> from Frederick, Maryland and we're going to go out to Nashville and uh, we'll file route of flight. I'm going to leave blank for direct. Type of fuel is low lead. Again we've got our minimum runway length which I set to 4,000 feet. On the top right corner, we'll click Find Prices, let it load, and here's what we got. Anything along our route of flight is going to uh, come on, come come along here, in display, so that you know from point A to point B. And if you had other waypoints, it would search those too. But on a direct line, these are the airports along our route of flight with uh, with fuel that's been reported through AirNav.com. Now this one here, as you can see, is this says uh, Thompsonville Monroe, okay? Actually, go back to the other page. It says <clears throat> that uh, it would be 10.2 nautical miles right of course. 
and you would say you would you would be able to get fuel for I have to go back one more time I apologize fuel would be five dollars and five cents now compared to what it was in Nashville again at 770 that's definitely worthy of a place to stop so that's how you would use your third search option going back to the main screen we can go ahead and use this as an airport directory now the airport directory I find to be rather basic I don't think that it's anything um, wonderful but it does give you some basic information again uh, we'll use the Frederick Airport you can uh, well first of all you type in the top field with the you know the airport identifier you can choose all um, all aerodromes you can choose airport heliport or or seaport so I've picked uh, Frederick I click search and it's going to go ahead and pop up here you click on that and again it's like I showed you earlier the basic airport uh, diagram and layout again it is basic but that's all it's intended to be is just give you a quick reference guide as to some um, information about the FBO the runways and um, any other airport info the uh, Airboss function which I'm not a, a, a subscriber to Airboss but Airboss is a fuel savings program that's about thirty nine dollars a month membership and it does give you some uh, some availability to receive discounts on fuel so if you're an Airboss a, um, a Airboss member this is where your account would come up and, and um, consequently if you are an Airboss member you can get the AirNav application for free and I'll talk about the cost if you're not an Airboss member in just a moment but this last tab down here is the settings tab and this is where you can set the static settings of, um, of the application that are permanently saved so if you want the search ring to always be 10 miles go ahead and select 10 if you prefer your a you know your prices to be within the last 30 days you go ahead and set that and set price uh, we can set it to jet a 100 low lead or mo gas you can give it a runway length anywhere from zero uh, for your helicopter pilots and as far as 9,000 uh, let's see 9,900 feet would be as high as we could bring it uh, and that would stay static in the application the um, what you could see here is my subscription is active and then there's my profile here telling a little bit about uh, myself now one of the things I'm uh, that I don't like about this application is if I if I navigate away from the app back to my desktop and then I come back to the application notice that it returns to the main screen and it has the spinning water wheel and it has to load the data up again that's a little bit obnoxious to me because number one it, um, it it takes some time away from using the application number two that means that it's going out to the internet to get the information that it needs so you cannot use this unless you have 3G uh, if you have unless you have a, some sort of mobile internet service or Wi-Fi that's currently active uh, the application um, as far as the user interface I would give it three stars it's kind of basic it's not the most pretty application but to be honest with you it does what it's supposed to it finds fuel at a discount uh, the load time again I'm gonna give three stars because of that factor that when you navigate away from it and then return to the application that it has to load the uh, software um, once again uh, the fuel search I'm going to give a five stars because it is a wonderful tool that's going to show you where you can save money along your route of flight. The ease of use is definitely a four star. I rate this at a four star. It's very simple. It's very intuitive on how to use it. And the price. The price is $4.99. I give that a two star rating. And the, and the reason why is the application is basic. It doesn't do anything particularly fancy. It does show you where you can save money on fuel and for that reason it is a good application. But as far as its features and functionality at you know at four dollars and ninety nine cents I don't really find it to be uh, the, you know worth the price if you will. So um, you know overall I would give this application about a three and a half star rating. Now to check this application out you can go ahead and visit thepilotreport.com forward slash airnav. This is once again this is Len with thepilotreport.com. I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out this video review. You can uh, reach us at thepilotreport.com and uh, all, as always please send in your comments, questions, love to hear back from you. Click that like button if you found this helpful and uh, wishing you guys clear skies and calm winds. Take care everybody.